Hey friends, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm so stinking excited to finally release this video. Several of you guys are my followers from my TikTok page. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, my TikTok handle's at the bottom. Look at me learning new tricks with editing. Y'all know my struggle, so we're just gonna move right along. Um, I partnered with Vivid Concepts with Miss Becca and she's created a 3D custom mold of my ghost face clay design. And this is super exciting because we've already gone through a few phases of testing and my portion of testing was with air dry clay. But here's the thing, a lot of people don't wanna work with clay and there's a lot of resin artists out there that can benefit from my molds as well. So this video, we are going to be using epoxy for testing. So what I did is I mixed up a whole ton of epoxy. DIY epoxy artisan is what I use. And then I added Dusty Miller from Wildflower Glitter Company. It's a beautiful holographic silver. And um, this is going in the mold. I made the biggest mistake. I sprayed the mold with alcohol, but that, that's not the mistake. I forgot that the mold is curved. So by pouring the resin into the mold, it all settled in the center at like a big puddle. So I did some thinking and I treated the mold like it was a cup that needed drip. So I waited for my epoxy to get thick for about 45 minutes. And what I did was I pressed the epoxy into the sides of the mold where there was no coverage. Let me tell you, this is a game changer because it did not move, it stayed where it needed to be. And once I had all of that set and ready to go, I was then able to get my cup that I had pre-prepped and um, place it over the actual epoxy in the mold. Now the mold may not be this thick, it's definitely gonna be thinner. I personally liked it thick like this because it held the cup up and kept it secure. But this is just phase one testing, so this is a rough draft of my molds. Can I tell you how hard it was not to poke at it for 24 hours? I legit waited for the exact 24 hour mark by the second. So I was so excited to finally get my hands on this mold. Um, I picked up the mold because it's heavy as heck and began just releasing the mold from the tops and the bottoms of the mold. And what came out of this mold, guys? Pure perfection. The details, the curvage, everything, all the 3D aspects of this mold of my ghost face, perfect. Now, you will see some spillage outside of the actual 3D design. That's okay. I only used this cup because it was already, you know, sitting on my desk and had nothing else to do with it. But what I recommend is to prep your tumbler. I use Final Sand by DIY Epoxy. That'll take off the protective layer of your stainless cup. Uh, or you can sand it down as best as you can. But the epoxy will stick to it. And the little spillage outside of the mold, all you have to do is sand it down as much as you can and then go in with your glitter around the mold. Guys, this is a game changer. Now resin artists can use my designs for their cups and not have to get into clay. I hope you guys really enjoyed this process of the testing, the whole epoxy aspect. Have a great day and keep following me on TikTok. Love you guys.